Sorry, Mr. Conehead. I know, you're not happy. Quick dip into anthropology. I'm looking for a specific bag. Then lastly, I think this is actually what I'm gonna wear today. Best chilaquiles I've had in the US, hands down. The only thing that was fully out of stock was like produce. I don't know why, I never feel earthquakes. How you doing, buddy? I'm tired. I know. Poor baby. Hey there, you guys. I just made myself a quick breakfast. Did the better bagel because I'm actually out of my collagen right now for my coffee. So I'm like, let me get some extra protein in with this. Oh. Okay. Those heirloom tomatoes are freaking juicy. Oh my god. But for anyone who didn't see my post yesterday or doesn't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, Unfortunately, Leo had a hell of a day yesterday. He had to be at the vet all day yesterday because his front paw had an inflamed toe. And a few nights ago, it was like really red and stuff, but they couldn't get us in for a couple days. By the time we got him to the vet, it was like pink, but definitely still inflamed and irritated. Unfortunately, even with Trevor and I both being so vigilant, checking him after every single walk and hike, he did end up getting a foxtail in his paw and that made me so sad so don't forget it is still foxtail season if you have a dog or you let your cat out or anything like that make sure to check them for foxtail seeds as thoroughly as you can because obviously even checking regularly those things can still get through and for anyone who doesn't know foxtails are really dangerous for dogs and i mean I guess any cats that go outside too because they're barbed and they'll burrow into your pet so obviously paws are a big concern it usually goes in between the toes which is what happened to poor leo he got lucky though and the foxtail actually burrowed out our vet said she saw an exit wound so it looks like it like burrowed in and came right out so he didn't have one in him anymore but the entrance and exit wounds were unfortunately a little bit infected so he had to get treated for that he is technically supposed to be wearing a cone but i'm watching him he's not licking we just got back from the park and he's like too tired to lick himself so i'm letting him have a break because i am about to leave in about 20 minutes to go to my pilates class i moved it because he was originally supposed to go on Wednesday and then they moved him to Thursday morning but I just decided to stay with him but yeah I'm about to leave so he needs to get coned again so since he's not bugging it right now I'm letting him have a break but yeah he has to be on antibiotics painkillers there's like a wipe that I need to wipe him down with that helps with itching and he was so good he let me wipe down his paw and his wound and he didn't get mad or anything he handled it very very well and then yeah he has to wear a cone at least until like the wound heals or he's not picking at it anymore or anything like that so he had a bit of a day yesterday he had to get sedated because for them to like check for foxtails they have to like really get in there especially on the paws and it can be kind of painful for them so he was sedated yesterday and just like he was having such a hard time yesterday this poor guy but yeah foxtails will burrow like i said into their paws in between their toes it'll get up into their nose and that's like especially dangerous the ones that go into their face those can kill them if they're not taken out in time so it's a very serious thing if you live in an area that has foxtails if you're in california you live in an area that has foxtails so come summertime make sure that you're constantly checking your pet so yeah nose because it'll just keep burrowing up and that's how it can kill them it can sometimes get lodged in their teeth too so check for that they're sneezing a ton check their nose if they're like picking at their mouth a lot check there and then it can also get in their ears another very dangerous spot because obviously I can burrow deeper into their head so if they're shaking their ears a ton check their ears for foxtails or if you have a suspicion that they might have a foxtail take them to the vet and just ask if someone can take a look or do like an ear cleaning or something but luckily while he was under they checked everywhere on him to make sure that there weren't any more and he's all good he's all clear I'm very grateful that the one that was in his paws made its way out because when they don't depending on how far it's burrowed it can be pretty invasive to get it out so we got lucky that it made its way out on its own and that he's he's for the most part fine I mean his paw is like itching him and stuff it doesn't seem to be too tender but it is itching so he's just annoyed with it but yeah he's doing good right now he's just resting he's super tired from the park i let him just like run around today since he didn't really get to do much yesterday between the vet and being under sedation and the sedation wearing off and stuff so yeah that's a little update on leo for anyone who saw that but like i said i'm gonna be going to pilates in a little bit i'm officially signing up today i'm gonna be doing two pilates classes per week and then i also i'm gonna get my nails done because look at that i was originally gonna get my nails done tomorrow and trevor was gonna go with me to get a pedicure done but 
we remembered we had family coming into town tomorrow but because of the storm there's a hurricane that's like coming up the coast of Baja California into California our family isn't sure if they're gonna come we don't know for sure yet so if they don't come then Trevor and I are probably just gonna get brunch tomorrow but if they do come tomorrow then we'll figure out some fun things to do with them but yeah like I said just wanted to start this off with a little update on where Leo's at and stuff but I'm gonna eat my breakfast really quick because I need some food before Pilates for sure and then get changed and cone him and then head on out. It's time to get changed. I need to figure out where I put my workout romper. You guys saw, I think it was like in one of the previous vlogs that I got another one of the workout rompers in a different color. I just don't know where I put it. Are you it? Ah, first thing I grabbed. Oh, but for everyone wondering, yes, this is a new graphic t-shirt. It's a Van Halen one. I loved the graphic on the back. I got from TJ Maxx when I dropped Leo off yesterday. <laughs> I like didn't want to go home yet. I am still very much grieving Spartacus for sure. I'm the type, I don't believe that there's a timeline. I don't believe that there's a correct process. And for me, like the grief comes in and out in waves. And just lately, like the last week, I've been in like a pretty serious like grief wave over sports so having to drop off leo and come home dogless after the vet was really really tough on me so i didn't want to go home right away i did eventually go home just to pick up my gym bag because i ended up going to the gym i just didn't want to be here because just like with the fact that i'm just like i said going through a grief wave that repeat of leaving the house and going to the vet and then coming back without a dog it just hit too close to home yesterday but right after that i went to home goods to avoid coming home without leo and i got this t-shirt and then i also got let me take my hair out of this anyway so i'll show it to you guys i got two of these this is the silver one and it also came with a gold one but this cute little butterfly clip i thought it was adorable so oop dropped it so yeah, i grabbed that i also grabbed like a sweatshirt and then i bought leo a bunch of toys so he's all set on toys i also Took a quick second to like purge his toys when I came home and grabbed my gym bag. Just like toys that are definitely done and stuff because like his toy box is filled to the brim. So since I got him new toys, I was like, okay, let's clear some of these out. But okay, anyways, I'm gonna go get changed for Pilates. So I'm all changed. I got my socks and my little coach waist bag here. And then since I'm getting my nails done, I'm gonna bring a little denim jacket to throw over if I want. And then I just threw on these Adidas slides. Hi there, buddy. I'm gonna have to clone you, I'm very sorry. All right, buddy, I'm very sorry, I know. But if I'm not around to make sure you're not licking, we don't want you to have to go back to the vet. She said as long as your wound looks good, you don't have to come back for a follow-up. So, no, 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 stay. I know. You are welcome to hate me for this. Sorry, Mr. Conehead, I know you're not happy. I got bonsai bowls. I just kind of wanted a little something in between Pilates and getting my nails done. I have a few minutes. I'm so hot. That class was really good. I took it from a new instructor this time since I went on a Friday and I really like her. I'm going to see what other time she has since I've officially signed up to do two times a week. So I'll do one class on Wednesdays with the instructor that I've been taking from because I really like her and then I'll try to do one from this instructor weekly. But since I'm going to get my nails done, I'm going to make myself look a little bit more alive. Not anything crazy dramatic. I already have lip gloss on. Shoot, I shouldn't have done that. But I'm just going to give myself... This is not technically for cheeks, the stain, but we're, we're going to make it work. I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a flush, even though I kind of have one for my workout. But it's going to go away in a little bit. So I'm just going to give myself one that lasts a little bit longer. Shoot, I shouldn't have put lip gloss down. Stain my lips. There we go. Just a little something. Then I'll put gloss on in a second. Just gonna let that dry before I start eating. Why didn't I eat first? Oh, I'm so hot right now. Mmm. Why don't I have the AC on? Seriously, I am all turned around right now. <laughs> I like rushed out of the house and everything. And I was like, oh my God, my phone battery is at like 10%. Luckily, I had accidentally dropped this external charger the day I went to the Neo concert. I had charged this one and my other one. And I brought both, but this fell out of my purse on the way there. And I never bothered to like find it in my car bring it back inside or anything so this was just sitting like underneath my passenger seat and I remembered and I was like oh thank god I can charge my phone so lucked out on that but 
I haven't had bonsai bowls in so long. I don't like, I was getting this all throughout spring. I got it a couple times in winter and then all of a sudden summer hit, which is the perfect time for bonsai bowls and no bonsai bowls. Like now is the time though. But I just thought that this would be perfect in between my workout and getting my nails done. It's not too, too heavy, but it's heavy enough. That's got a little bit of protein in it from the peanut butter to replenish me a little bit. I love bonsai bowls. But like I said, I'm gonna go get my nose done. I mean, this one broke off the other week. I think I showed you guys on the last OZ Fair vlog, it had cracked off. It fully broke off the other day. So, gotta go get that fixed. I kinda wanted to go to Anthropology. So I'm gonna head over to the mall a little bit early and go do a little bit of shopping before it's time to do my nails. I don't know what I wanna do today. I also like need to brainstorm that, so. Maybe I'll park over there and look at Pinterest a little bit and just get some inspo for my next nails. Okay, is it like some hard requirement for all bonsai bowls to be built in the hardest to maneuver parking lots known to man? Like, I'm not kidding. The Huntington Beach one, it's on Main Street, so it's like, oh my God, this guy just drove up onto the sidewalk. I swear, it's like pure pandemonium. All right, I'm finally able to pull out. But like, the Huntington Beach one is on Main Street, which is so hard to park at and maneuver around. This one is built into like the tiniest little parking lot that's like, again, super, super hard to maneuver in. And for some reason, there's a lot of trucks today. And then the other bonsai bowls here, well, I guess technically it's Newport, not Costa Mesa. That one is on Newport Pier. Again, impossible to park. Is that a requirement? Do the people who build bonsai bowls like look around at the different cities that they want to build it in and go, where would be the hardest place for people to park? Because bingo, that's where we want to build it. <laughs> Quick dip into anthropology. I'm looking for a specific bag. So they have the bag that I was looking for. I'm thinking about that bag for fall. I haven't fully decided. They didn't have the color that I wanted, which I knew they wouldn't. So I ordered it offline, but I just wanted to feel it to make sure it was soft and it was. It's a dupe for the Bottega Jody, the Teen Jody. And some Bottega dupes are really stiff. So I wanted to make sure because that one's a little bit more costly than other dupes that I liked it and I really do. So definitely thinking about possibly getting that in the next few weeks. Fall. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel so lucky I met you, and I still um, can't believe it. You want me to take that off? Because I'm home. Yeah, I'll take it off. Since I can watch you now. Okay, okay, heat is off. No more head. I went with this like fun orange red. Very spicy, very summery, cause it's still summer y'all. Oh, by the way, this is one of the new toys that I got him. It's like a Frankenstein head and then inside is a ball that's supposed to technically be its brain. And then you can take the ball out and hide treats underneath, which I did. I don't even know if he's figured it out, but if he can get the ball out, oh. Well, he's biting the ball, but if he can get the ball out, then he can find treats. So it's another little enrichment toy. This was one of the other toys that I got him, a little Halloween thing. Hey, don't take my hand. Don't take my hand. Oh my goodness. Oh my, you are feeling so much better. Oh, sedation's fully worn off. Okay. You wanna go on a car ride? You wanna go on a walk? I'm gonna go drive him for a fun walk in the rich neighborhood since he didn't really get many walks yesterday but I'm gonna do my new Nirvana sweatshirt over because it's starting to get a little bit chilly it's like cool hey <laughs> it's definitely cool right now hi baby yeah I got this while you were in the bed but it's cooler right now because we have the storm coming in as I'm sure many of you guys know I got this in a men's 2xl I wanted it long like you know biker shorts barely peeking out underneath so it's perfect all right buddy you know, get leashed up. Oh, you need to wear 
your seatbelt harness. Where is it? We have returned from the walk with sustenance. I got the California bowl with shrimp. Hi, buddy. From Rubio's. I was just feeling Rubio's today. That is not a typical place that I go, but I don't know. It just sounded really good. So I'm going to have some dinner and wash up because Trevor is working. He has a football game tonight. So I have a place to myself tonight and for the foreseeable Fridays. It's the next morning and Trevor went back down to sleep because of his work schedule. He's been getting up really early on the weekends because that's what he has to do most days. So then he like feeds Leo, then tries to go back to sleep. But as soon as he gets up, we are gonna go get food, like a late brunch. We might try this place that's like pretty much across the street from us that we never knew about. It's like a breakfast spot and they look like they have really, really good food. So maybe we'll go there, not entirely sure. Just kind of depends on when Trevor gets up. But in the meantime, I'm getting ready. I know that he said he was only gonna go down for like an hour or so. I figured that's kind Kind of perfect that gives me time to get ready but i got in okay but i got in at francis poly hall and i think i'm gonna pick something from there so let's do a little quick try on so like i said we got a princess poly hall i'll show you guys what i've got first off i did not know princess poly now does petite pants and I'm so excited because anytime I hear a brand now makes petite, that just like makes my day since I'm super short and pants never fit me. But I got these white linen pants. I've been wanting white linen pants that fit really nicely for a little while. I have those ones from Amazon, but they're men's, so they're a little bit tight through like the bum and the thighs, which is fine. I still do like wearing them. I also need to roll them a lot because they're really long. So I just wanted a pair that was gonna be probably like a little bit more tailored and fit correctly. So I'm gonna throw these on. I think I'm gonna wear these to brunch. So here are the pants. A little tie waist action, but they fit really nicely. It's awkward. There's no pockets here. The pockets are here. But yeah, it's got a pocket on each side. Really cute. And then length, you guys can't see. They're like a tiny bit long. Like they'll definitely drag on the floor, but I want that. I prefer it when my pants completely reach the ground because when they don't, I end up looking shorter. When pants like go all the way to the ground, that just gives me a longer frame. And options for tops. I think this one's going to be too dressy for just a brunch, but I'll still show it to you guys. I think two of the tops that I got are knit, but I was obsessed with this. So just like this cream knit top, it's a high neck in the front and then completely open in the back. Okay, this top is so freaking cute. I do love it with the pants, but again, I feel like this is probably a bit much for just brunch, but how cute is this? Okay, now I need to move this up. Since we're on tops, we're gonna do this height, but it's so cute. I love the knit, I feel like any, summer knit tops especially this one's like a thicker knit that you have can still definitely transition into fall a little bit but again fall is it for another okay i'll give it till after labor day so fall is it for like another three weeks so we're still talking summer here but i love this really cute from the front this would also look really good with a pair of jeans but it looks just so summery and just like vacation vibes with these pants and then Back is fully open. We know I'm a sucker for that. I love the fully open back. Nope, Leo went in his house. The other top that I got, again, I think that this is still a little bit too dressy, but this is like a bustier style green tube top. I got this one in a six. I got the pants in an eight. This one, for some reason, I got in an eight. I think I thought it was gonna be more of a corset style. Princess Polly corset styles. I do need to go on the bigger side because a lot of the times they don't fit my boobs, but I didn't realize this was like a stretchy tube top, so I really should have done a six, but I'll show you guys what it looks like on. Here is the green tube top. It's really, really cute. Definitely a top I can style a million different ways. I really love bustier styles. I just find them to be kind of flattering. Oh, we got squid action. But yeah, I love the color too. I think that it's such a nice green. And then there's the back, which is like a regular back. Sorry if you guys can't hear me. <laughs> Leo is playing you the song of his people. Then lastly, I think this is actually what I'm gonna wear today. This is a thicker knit, but it's not super hot right now. It is humid, but it's not super hot because the hurricane's coming in tomorrow. I know, Californians have been very casual about that. But yeah, this like knit, top with this like fun design it kind of like reminds me of like tattoo style designs i feel like this is probably what i'm gonna wear i think that this is the outfit this is really really comfortable and it looks really cute here's what the top looks like on even though it is like a thicker knit material what's nice is that it's actually pretty soft it's not scratchy or itchy at all which i appreciate because there's a lot of times these types of materials can be very very itchy but yeah, okay, I think that this is gonna be the look for today. And then I've been trying to find my Princess Polly slides that I was wearing like 
like with every single outfit and I have no idea. And I have no idea where it went, so I'm gonna go on a quest to find those and then just like fix up my face a little bit and then we'll head out for food as soon as Trevor wakes up. Makeup is done and I cannot find those slides, which is making me so, so sad. So I'm just gonna throw on my Birkenstock slides because they go with the pants. Y'all, it is freaking windy and this isn't even like the hurricane Not even yet. close. Yeah, it's past it. I think it's towards, um, just drive along that side of the freeway. I don't even know what it's called. I just it's remember going, I really want to go there. I'm like, okay. It's called Dick's Church Restaurant. Look at everybody trying to get gas right now, just in case. Oh, jeez. You should have seen the supermarket. It's like, isn't it just going to be like a day and a it's half? It's going to be a tropical storm, but... Because we haven't had this in a while, there's a possibility our services could be disrupted for a while. Oh, uh, shoot. Like, power. I would charge up any uh, extra batteries. Oh, portable chargers? Portable chargers, thank you. Okay. I have two. I don't know where mine all went. I think I have, no, I have two that I actively use. I have like a bunch. All right, I'll charge them. Guess we're hunkering down. <laughs> no, it's just preparing. Okay, we, we're preparing. Well, tomorrow I'm trying not to leave. I don't if think it's gonna be that rainy. To rain. drive really anywhere? Yeah. I'm trying to think of how we're gonna walk him. Oh, shit, I didn't think about that. I should prepare some enrichment stuff for him then. Yeah. You must have felt from the sky and I feel um, so lucky I met you. It's not bad to call. We're back in the car. This time I'm driving. Mm -hmm. So I gotta get the seat all the way up here. You will die if we get in a fender bender. You how, can't how just, am I supposed to drive? I can't reach the pedals. I've this tried is, to get you foot this, pedal like extenders and well, we're hand not gonna extenders. put it in your car, so relax. But fight me every step of the way. We are on our way to go watch the fights right now. When I started putting the window down for Leo. But yeah, we're on our way to go watch the fights. Dick Churches. I thought it was Dick's Church. It's Dick Church's restaurant. So, so good. Best chilaquiles I've had in the US, hands down. Like those were so good, right? They were good. Oh yeah. my God. Like they make the, I think they make the tomatilla sauce in-house and it's amazing and then i think they also pickled their own onions the pickled onions were those onions bummed. made yeah it. yeah trevor got the tuna melt it was a what you say a solid tuna melt six out of ten all right i didn't solid. hate it it is cool though that they have a full bar over there that, and their uh little walkway was kind of your nice. car break is but we really liked the vibes in there more than anything like it, it was a cute spot and it's like right down the street from us. I know. Been I, there I this like whole time and didn't even know. Away. Yeah. So yeah, overall we recommend if you're coming to the Newport Coast Mesa area and you need a brunch slash breakfast spot, yes. definitely go there. This is not the playlist that I sent you. <laughs> Put the playlist on. Well, I'm waiting until you're done. Okay. Trevor wants me to get off the vlog, so we'll see you guys later. It's not optional. How gravity me right to you. Just got done watching the fights and now we're at Wendy's because there are no Wendy's by us. And if we're here in Huntington, we're like, we're gonna stop by Wendy's. We're also gonna brave the grocery store. Yeah, because I realized I don't have anything for breakfast at home and I'm like, shoot. Six cheeseburgers plain? I can't get six cheeseburgers plain. Also a sour cream and chives potato, a small chocolate frosty, and then six piece nuggets. $34.09. Okay, thank you. How much are your burgers each? I don't know. Are they not dollar burgers? No, apparently not. Inflation's a motherfucker. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, it doesn't look too crowded. Well, we are here at like 10.30 at night, but they still look stocked, so that's a good sign. We were seeing videos on TikTok of like, I think it's mainly San Diego, but like Costco's that were getting like pretty much ransacked and stuff. Not too bad. It wasn't chaotic. The line was a little long for 10.30 at night, but it was weird. The only thing that was fully out of stock was like produce, like 
Trevor said potatoes and bananas he saw were completely out. The waters and stuff were in stock. Tropical storm family walk right now. It's the Hillary watch. <laughs> Trevor went to the wedge this morning to go like see how like the beach was and the waves and stuff. I'll it have him. like seven, eight feet. Yeah, they looked pretty, like they didn't look crazy, but they looked like good sized waves. Yeah. I just am in shorts and flip flops because the only rain boots I have, or rain shoes that I should say, I have are Uggs and it's warm. Like it's raining, but it's warm. So I'm like, I'm just gonna do flip flops. <laughs> it's fine, but I'll ask him to send me his clips he took at the wedge and insert it here so you guys can see what it looked like over there. But I've just been lounging in bed all day. Hey buddy, we're not planning on going anywhere today. Not necessarily because it's like crazy windy or anything right now. I'm more worried um, about the floods. Yeah, Trevor's worried about floods. I'm worried about the other drivers. <laughs> Honestly, Californians do not drive good in the rain, me included. So, no, I'm not terrible, but in general, people in California when it rains tend to freak out. We tend to as a bunch not be the best drivers in the rain so i'm trying to avoid going out on the roads right now you tell them how we're supposed to get a third to like half of our rain in one year today. yeah yeah we're supposed to get like a third to half of our rain that we typically get in a year just in today alone so right now it's not too bad you guys i'm sure can tell it's like sprinkling at this moment so that's why we have leo out on walk hi buddy this ball looks pretty good yeah hi the bud the borders are still black well, yeah, because they're, they're scabbing. Hey, Ben. <laughs> Leo loves walking in the rain, by the way. Very much the opposite of Spartacus. If it was raining, we had to drag Spartacus out of the front door. But Leo's just like all for it. He's like, hell yeah. But yeah, we're just lounging and chilling today. Not trying to do anything too crazy. I kind of want to have ramen because it is raining. But like the problem with this type of weather is that like, I feel like I want to be warm and cozy, but it's still pretty warm slash hot. So I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, I want cozy, warm comfort food, but it also feels too warm to have that type of food and those type of vibes. Like I want to be in the sweatshirt so bad right now, but I know I would overheat. So just like weird weather, because it's not something that we typically get. After our walk, I was soaked and did some laundry and put this shirt back on, because it's new and I just want to wear it all the time because it's new, but. Trevor went to go get a haircut. I'm just chilling at home with Mr. Leo. He's been super mellow today because I did put some CBD oil in his breakfast just to kind of like take off the edge on him in case we got any thunder. And then also it keeps him calm and not as like crazy, but it's been raining steadily, not anything too crazy hard, luckily. Winds have not picked up yet, but Trevor said that those probably won't start until about like four or five. It's currently three, so hopefully he gets back from his haircut before then. But we did have an earthquake go off in Fontana, which is about like an hour inland from us. We haven't felt any aftershocks here yet. We just got an earthquake warning, but it's so funny. Like my team in Texas for work, they've been really nice. They've been texting the California employees today just to ask how we're doing <laughs> when the earthquake went off. They like texted us, they're like, are you guys okay? We saw that there was an earthquake and I'm like, haven't felt anything here and even if we did feel something here i probably wouldn't feel it i have this thing i don't know why i never feel earthquakes ever like i've maybe felt three or four in my life and i've lived in california since birth and i've been through many earthquakes i've just only felt a few i don't know why i never feel them i think it's because i'm either usually asleep and i will sleep through an earthquake like i will sleep like a rock through an earthquake or i'm driving it just always happens to hit when i'm doing something where i wouldn't typically feel it and like we'll get earthquakes and trevor will text me and we'll be like hey just want to check on you and the dog are you guys okay there was an earthquake and i'll be like there was <laughs> So I'm always just like very unfazed by earthquakes, but we've just kind of like been waiting in anticipation because I'm sure we'll get an aftershock or two or maybe we have and it was just so small we didn't feel it. But so far that's how it's been going. Just really overcast, really rainy, little bit of wind, not anything too bad. But I think early evening is when we're going to get like the brunt of it and that's when we should get the winds and then the heavy rain and stuff like that. So we're definitely making sure to be hunkered in for the night. I've been doing laundry because our laundry room is outside. So I'm trying to get that done before it starts like dumping and gets like really windy because I would hate to be trying to carry clean laundry and it's like blowing away. Although, I mean, we're so close to the laundry room. We're just like feet away. So it would be fine either way, but still I'm trying to get that done beforehand because I just like don't want to deal with it, you know? But so far, not too bad. Like I said, we're just trying to stay inside and like take Leo out when we're seeing like lighter breaks in the rain and stuff. Oh. 
I can't tell if that was an airplane or thunder that I just heard. I think it's an airplane. I have never tried liquid death. I am very, very curious about it. We went to the liquor store a little bit earlier and got some drinks. So I grabbed this one. So this one is the Bury It Alive flavor. Ooh, that's really good. I think the thing with liquid death though, yeah, it has like sugar and stuff. So it's not like a true pure sparkling water, but it's good. But it's much later right now. Basically just spent the rest of the day doing laundry and we were just hanging out and stuff. I have Leo working on a bully stuff right now. We tried to take him on a walk earlier and it was just pure chaos. It was 30 mile an hour winds, not even kidding. So we were like, yeah, we're gonna have to bring him back in right away. But I am now hungry and I'm feeling like it's a ramen night. So I have this ramen. It's a frozen ramen that I got from the grocery store a little while back, the Asian grocery store, I should say. And I've been wanting to try it. So yeah, we'll give this guy a try. I also have the oven preheating for karage because I'm gonna have that as the protein with it. So this is tonight's storm dinner. I have black ramen. So that's why if anyone's freaked out by this, it's black tonkatsu ramen. So it's got a layer of like crushed black garlic that just, kind of sits on top and then I added in some cabbage and carrots and some cilantro and sesame seeds and then for my protein I have this small plate of karage or faux karage this is the Trader Joe's one I don't really count it as karage but close enough okay you guys but I am just gonna be chilling for the rest of the night I hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend in my life vlog and for anybody else in Southern California I know that you know by the time I post this, technically Hurricane Hillary has passed through, but there can still be power outages, recovery from any areas that flooded and stuff. So please stay safe out there. And if you are out and about, remember to be kind to one another because we're all stressed from whatever complications may have arisen for us personally from the storm. So be patient with each other. Luckily, at least in our area, it was nowhere near as bad as we thought it was gonna be, which is good. But there's definitely been a lot of water and wind coming through. But anyways, I love you guys. Thank you again for watching and I will see you very soon again in the next vlog. Just comes out right when I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you And I still um, can't believe that I get to See those eyes from more than tonight Swear you must have felt from